everybody. Welcome back to Paradise on Pennies. I'm Heather and today I'm taking you guys on another foraging adventure. And this one's going to be a whole lot of fun. So we are currently, uh, we're on the Olympic Peninsula actually and we just walked down from camp to this water spot. That's why my hair is wet because I actually just took a nature bath. One of my favorite things to do. Um, so yeah, so I'm finally clean after a while from uh, bathing in this river and I don't know if you can hear that but there's these like rock falls happening behind us this little ones because this cliffside is pretty unstable but that's been interesting and then down here just a little small rapids thing going on and there's the family there's everybody back there <laughs> okay so we walked up the river and we started finding something that I was super excited about but I did not think we were going to find a lot of this and um, it turns out that when we were in Oregon, when we were in Oregon, we found some, and now here we're finding more. So I guess we've got a gift of finding this. So it's pretty cool. And what it is is, it's this stuff right here. This is wild plum. It's also called Indian plum. And let me see if I can. There it is. Wild plum. Isn't that so cool? I'm so excited about these. Here you can see the the shape of the leaves almost like a lance shaped or a longer than a uh, more narrow kind of elm but not serrated and then these little guys that are tiny wild plums and they're all over the tree now they're not fully ripe at this point in the season but there are a few starting to pop up that are a little redder and they do get that purple color uh, once they get ripe so we've been just kind of looking around there's some up there and I'm looking through these to find some. Uh, I don't see any real ripe ones here, but I'll show you over here. We have some that we picked already from the other spot, and they are whoops, tripping. They are um, looking a little better. So let's go find those. There we go. Let me swing around here. And hi, Lily Bear Girl. There's Lily Bear Girl. Alrighty. So what do we got here? Show us what we've picked already. There's there we go. Ones. Indian plums. Look and at this one. This one looks pretty good. There's yeah. a few that are purple. Really yeah. Ripe. Check that out. So yeah, it's like a mini plum, miniature plum. That's and then, nice because you can just pick them just like that, and you can get a whole bunch. Yeah. So that's going to have you know nutrition just like a plum or fruit. Um, I don't know exactly what the uh, specific concoction of nutrients are, but I'm sure there's vitamin C and other things like I said, just like a plum. So good for you and we're just taking a couple now and we're just going to make like a little plum jam to put in our toast uh, with breakfast tomorrow so super excited about that and just really enjoying we've got a beautiful day here uh it's actually kind of hot <laughs> it's like probably 90s today i think and it's june um but since we've got this watering hole when you have a watering hole the heat's not so bad so yeah I'll pan around and show you the view again. You can say hi to Kalani and there he is. He's getting bugs. That's another thing we got to deal with right now are bugs. But um, other than that, yeah, we're just going to enjoy our spot. We're probably going to just sit down and read a book here by the water. And then it'll be time to make dinner. But otherwise, that's all for today and the foraging adventures. I hope you guys are enjoying these. Just as a reminder, I have put a, I've, I've made an entire playlist for the foraging videos. If you're liking these and you want to see the rest of them, if you missed any, uh, just look on the channel at the foraging playlist. I can st stick the link down there too at some point uh, in the description, make it easier to find. But yeah, it's just in our playlist and it's the foraging and food playlist, which I also have in addition to my foraging adventures, um, things like prickly pear and yucca and um, fireweed and I'll have all kinds more as we travel around. Uh, I also have some recommendations just on things like just being nomads and living on a budget and good food ideas for that situation. Um, things that don't spoil when you're traveling around. So lots of tips and food and foraging playlists if you're interested. Otherwise stay tuned next time I'll have another foraging video probably very soon because everything is bursting in season right now and i'm so excited about it because this is a great great adventure lots of learning really useful and great for our budget so highly recommend getting into foraging all right guys that's all for today i'm gonna go take another dip bye <laughs>